Hey everyone, this video is all about the new Angstrom Celeritas cube line. For your information, the Celeritas lube system contains two components, reagent A and reagent B. The premium Celeritas setup consists of lubricable black on the core, and Angstrom Gravitas, Celeritas, and DNM37 on the pieces. In comparison to the traditional Angstrom setup, the Celeritas setup offers a faster feel with less break-in time. Angstrom Gravitas and reagent A make the cube controllable while reagent B and DNM37 speed the cube up. While still maintaining its compliance, in general, this is a smooth and speedy setup that offers control that cubers with a faster turning style will enjoy. Check out these solves done by our staff members on our new Celeritas cube line. Hey, this is Phil. I really like how the Celeritas setup works on the GAN 356X. The loop combination really speeds up the cube to a significant enough degree where I can keep the cube on fairly tight tensions for more stability. The speed is retained and I have a cube that's quick enough to go fast on, but not so fast that it overturns. The cube is controllable and turns very clean with a hint of soft plush. I'm actually going to stop cubing now and show you how the cube sounds. I like it, and I hope you do as well. Hey guys, it's Damien. The Celeritas GTS3M has many of the features of the other Celeritas puzzles due to their similar setup. That is, a really controllable puzzle that has a smooth gliding feel to the pieces. What I think is the most remarkable is the fact that I've tried four or five different Celeritas GTS3Ms over the course of producing this video, and I honestly doubt I could tell them apart blindfolded. The setup is extremely consistent, and I'm very proud of our pro shop for that fact. But aside from that, I typically don't prefer the GTS3M as a main 3x3, but I could absolutely use this one. The combination of lubes and setup suit this cube perfectly, and I can easily recommend it to anyone who enjoys the GTS3. What's up guys, it's Keenan. The Solaritas WRM is great. It's stable yet speedy and has extremely enjoyable turning that makes the pieces feel like they're gliding on air. The Angstrom lubes combine to create, in my opinion, a great all around setup. The Solaritas WRM is a hair slower than Mystic but with more control and accuracy. Mystic feels plush and soft while Solaritas, you get a really smooth turn. When compared to Angstrom, Celeritas requires less break-in due to the clever two-part lube and is the faster setup in the Angstrom family, which suits my turning style. I still favor my Mystic WRM, but the Celeritas WRM is a close second and an exceptional puzzle. Hey, Maddie here. Right now, my main is the Celeritas Volk 3M. Even though we don't offer this cube in the premium Celeritas line, through Cubicle Custom, you can get this same setup for the Volk 3M. I really like the fast gliding feel of this cube. Even with a Celeritas setup, it retains the crunchy tactile feel of an unlubed Volk 3M. Although I did set it up to be pretty fast by adding more of Reagent B, you can slow it down by adding a bit more of Reagent A or a touch of Angstrom Gravitas. Hey, this is Jules. The Celeritas Aosu WRM has a lot of promise when it comes to its setup. It features the heavier Gravitas lube towards the inside of the cube and Celeritas towards the outside of the cube. This provides a controllable inner turning while providing a smooth gliding experience on the outer layers that only Celeritas can provide. With the Aosu WRM, the inner layers do feel a little bit tight, so the copious amount of DNM really helps. If you're looking for a 4x4 that excels in the 3x3 stage, this setup is probably your best bet. Just hope you don't get a parody. Hey guys, this is Ro. Here is some rare footage of me doing a 5x5 solve on the new Celeritas Volk 5M. The Gravitas is applied in the deep internals of this puzzle, which gives it a smooth yet stable base. The lighter lubes, such as the Celeritas and the DNM, are then applied throughout the cube to give it just the right amount of speed. This is very similar to our traditional Angstrom setup on the Volk 5M, minus the Gravitas, but what I really like about the Celeritas version is how easy it is to break in. Usually when preparing an Angstrom Volk 5M, we have to do a moderate amount of break-in before packaging, but the Celeritas setup requires much less, even with a similar amount of Gravitas. I also got curious and took one off the shelf to see how it felt after sitting for a few days. 
Sure enough, the Solaritas Volk 5M felt great out of the box and required no additional break-in. Overall, I consider myself torn between the Angstrom and the Solaritas setup for the Volk 5M, but I recommend this puzzle to those that like the traditional Angstrom setup and may be interested in trying something new.